We're here at ITU Telecom World 2014 in Doha in the state of Qatar and I'm very pleased to be joined by Mr. Walid Al Sayed who is Chief Operating Officer for Uridu. Mr. Al Sayed, thank you very much indeed for being with us in the studio today. It's my pleasure, thank you very much. Now, the, the slide to start off by talking about the central theme here at ITU Telecom World 2014 is future in focus. What developments in technology, policy or business do you see as key to the near future? As you can see that uh, uh, we are here to uh, talk about the future, not anymore about traditional business in the telco. Uh, for a long time we have been talking about the, uh, the risk that uh, other players are coming to our industry. We never talked about the opportunity that brings to our, to our industry. This time we have worked for one year with ITU to develop this conference and we have promised that we bring the best ever uh, you know, edition of this event and we did so. So we are talking about w what and uh, how we can reshape our uh, industry. Uridu for example has invested heavily in the infrastructure in Qatar, bringing you know, broadband to the home. Uh, launching 4G Plus uh, as w one of the fewest countries around the world that uh, launching this uh, services. So it is the time to talk about how we can work together with other players like uh, OTT players and uh, other uh, players in the industry to complement each other and to bring innovative service to our customers. So the uh, ITU Telecom World 2014 is a great opportunity for us to, uh, as, uh, to speak to the regulators, to the manufacturers, and to OTT players. Together we should uh, speak about putting the framework that enable us to bring these new technologies together. And also we need uh, the, the regulatory side to be much faster in finalizing, licensing, spectrum and uh, those issues that uh, relates to our industry. Now obviously we can't do this alone. I wanted to talk to you about partnerships. How important do you think are partnerships between sectors, between nations in shaping the future? And the panel discussion to this morning, I have said that when you build such, uh, you know, infrastructure, then you are, and, and you don't push anything through this infrastructure, those high speed bandwidth that you are building in the country, then you are like uh, basically a highway without cars. You are like an airport without planes. So it is very important that we partner, not only with the OTT players, but also with the government. We need to build smart cities, and that will need you know, a buy-in from the government to work with uh, the telcos to regulate that sector and to accept the new ideas that we want to bring to, to the table. So um, this is a great opportunity that uh, this partnership, it, it will bring value. Today also I have given a very important example, how we work with QMB and MasterCard that we enabled the customers to do money uh, remittance and money uh, transfer without the need to go to any to any of the you know physical shops or physical banks to, to do these transactions. So what this has done, it opens a new opportunity for QMB and for MasterCard. They tackled a market that they didn't believe that in the past that they will tackle. It also put a footprint for MoneyGram, which has no license to operate in Qatar, and they have access to our 2.8 million customer. For us, it makes the customer more sticky to our services we gain their loyalty because they are getting value-added services through our, uh, you know, services, basically. Are there any other examples of how Uridu has uh, to play the role that Uridu has to play in, in, in our future? Uh, and uh, Our uh, strategy basically is very clear, putting the customer first. I mean, we like to work on uh, a push model, not a pull model. We need to start with the customer to understand what are their needs, what they want from us and what they are expecting from us. And then we work with any partner that can satisfy that needs. Uh, we have uh, spent billions of reals building the broadband to homes. Now Qatar, I think next year will be number one in the world in terms of penetration in the mobile uh, broadband and the fixed broadband. And also on the mobile broadband, we are uh, going to complete our network with 4G plus by next year. I mean by mid of next year. This is the most advanced network uh, that we have uh, in the world, uh, basically. So 
we will not leave those you know high bandwidth and those huge infrastructure that we built without the right content and services to our customer we will partner with hospitals to provide uh, health uh, smart health uh, concept we will partner with education to to leverage on the smart education we will uh, we are in the final stage with, to sign with one of the a new developed area in Qatar called Lucille to implement the smart city concept. And we are in a, a serious discussion with uh, FIFA 2022 to implement the smart stadium uh, concept. So we will do everything in our capacity to push the right services to all the stakeholders, be it uh, the co consumer or the business sector. So you're very much leading by example then? Exactly. Yes, and, and uh, among um, the OPCOs, you know, we are in 15 countries. Uridi Qatar is leading the path. Uridi Qatar is putting the example and the group is, uh, the role of our group is to take the best example at the best services that we do and they replicate it in the other countries. And what is the main value of events for you such as ITU Telecom World 2014? See, we have, as I said, we have worked with the ITU for the past one year to develop this one. Our thinking was uh, basically is to bring everybody under uh, this uh, you know uh, place in, in this four days for the first time maybe uh, this event sees that uh, four operators are participating uh, we have many manufacturers are here regulatory body and the government those four uh, sectors they can uh, and and through this panel uh, discussion and the presentation that we had it was the great opportunity to exchange ideas and experiences but also it was the great uh, opportunity to sit and to think about what we need to do in the future we we have talked about the policy that has to be changed we have talked about how we can put different frameworks to enable you know different services so i think this four days was the best and qatar was basically the conversation of telecom and and, and the world uh, and it should be the focus of uh, of all the telecom sector and the world for this four days and and the, uh, the outcome of this event i think it will be very important to uh, reshape the the future as host of this year's edition of itu telecom world in uh, in this uh, futuristic forward-looking city city of doha what is your main message for participants and delegates um, we first we are very happy that uh, we hosted uh, and uh, we uh, have been asked by the government to organize this event uh, we have made everything in our capacity to make this uh, event the best ever edition uh, and uh, we hope that uh, everybody participated here they will go out with something uh, important f to change in their industry our message is basically very simple. We, you have to build the infrastructure that will allow more services to be put to your customers, but you have to be open-minded. You have to partner with all different stakeholders. You have to put policies and uh, uh, rules that it will make it easy and, and, and fast and, uh, you know, uh, seamless for others to partner with you and to push content uh, through you. If you don't do this one, I think you are putting your, uh, at least the telcos uh, side I'm talking about from the operator point of view, I think you are putting your business at risk and you are going, uh, going to suffer big time in the near future. Finally, I'd like to ask you, you're particularly well placed uh, in uh, answering this next question. What single technological advance do you think will make the most difference in the next five to ten years? Uh, we did one in the past, which is the mobile money, I, and I think this is going to reshape the whole money business in the future. Uh, it's already happening. Uh, I mean, we started with uh, less than $1 million of money uh, remittance. Now I am talking about almost uh, $40 million, and it's increasing. We believe that uh, the next year, uh, the, the fourth quarter of next year will see that every month we have around 40 million of uh, dollar of remittance. The, the second one that I can see and it has been showcased in Oridu uh, stand basically is the health, uh, the smart health concept because we know that how difficult to get a good physician appointment with good physician. We know that how 
difficult for some countries like Indonesia, one of the countries that we are operating in, how difficult the people living in rural area to communicate with their physician. I believe that uh, smart health is going to reshape the health sector in the near future. Mr. Al Sayed, thank you very much for being with us in the studio today. My pleasure. Thank you very much. Thank you.